Slot Car News, sponsored by LEB Hobbies, your specialist in home and hobby slot car racing. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2 million views edition of Slot Car News. Yes, we have hit 2 million views for the channel. Thank you all so very much. Uh, lots of news to share this week. Scale Auto BMW GT3 kit being shown as you see here. Boy, howdy, what a beautiful car. A great addition to the GT3 lineup, I guess you'd say. Uh, great kit in any case. I expect that'll be coming quite soon. Avant slot showing a whole bunch of news. Uh, I guess this would be an updated photo of their Ferrari that they're going to be doing. The 296? I believe so. Um, regardless, nice to see updated photos from them um, about anything, especially if it's a Ferrari. Uh, the Kamaz is on the way. <laughs> They uh, are showing these uh, photos of the uh, livery on the car. Sorry, the truck. And there you go. If you're into the raid trucks, oh boy, there's a raid truck for you. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Also, they're showing the CAD file for a brand new Toyota Rally car. And oh baby, does this have a ton of detail on it. Holy cow. Look at, um, well, frankly, all of it. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Uh, Avant, definitely one to watch this year, as well as Scale Auto. That's why we lead off with those folks. Fly news, we have the Audi Quattro Algarve edition of this car from 1986. Oh, baby. That's right. We got more babies. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yes. Uh, beautiful looking livery on this car and I mean how do you not like an Audi Quattro even if uh, even if it's a rally car yeah I know but oh man these cars were killers in real life and really great to see uh, fly releasing that car Policar Piper Ferrari um, I believe this is going to be one of the kind of near midterm cars we're going to be getting reasonably soon. Uh, it's, this is a beautiful looking car. I do like me a green car and well, the photos that they've done here uh, really pick up the nice, really subtle detail on the car, the nice curves on the car. Um, amazing stuff. And like with all the recent Policar, slotted cars, I'm sure it's going to be whisper quiet. Good stuff coming from them. The new Skyline GTR. It's a black and white livery on this car, as you see here. Uh, this will be a uh, the, the first release, I believe, since they've changed the body and the chassis on the car. Um, I forget. I, I don't. I hadn't heard exactly what they had changed on the body, but I, I'm sure the chassis has been changed. Uh, they made note of this in an email fairly recently. And uh, something that was some kind of contact, I guess, being made in the chassis. And uh, Maurizio didn't like that. So he changed the design up. And there we go. Area 71. Last but absolutely not least, we have uh, a Cadillac coming from them as well as an SCG, okay, two GT3 cars coming in both 132 and 124. Wow, the detail on these things is absolutely incredible. That is the news portion. Stick around through the racing and show news, and I'll have an uh, editorial about something.
Thanks for sticking around, folks. It is my favorite subject. <laughs> Not really. Um, anyway, uh, open wheel. And, uh, uh, yeah, open wheel. Uh, if you're calling it, uh, well, whatever you call it. If it's Indy here in the U.S., uh, if it's Formula One, now obviously I know they're different things. However, here in the U.S., uh, there is little or no uh, uh, name recognition for IndyCar. There is maybe some for Formula One, but the fact that they're used interchangeably by folks that are just, you know, regular old folks, not people that are uh, racing fans, here in the U.S. means that, I mean, there's basically, you know, little or no name recognition regardless for uh, either. Um, Indy cars are just something that uh, you would think buyers for big box stores would have some interest in. They absolutely do not. I've been with uh, buyers for uh, a number of the big chains, including Michael's, including Hobby Lobby, and the biggest, Walmart, uh, we met with a Walmart buyer uh, one year in Dallas at the Dallas Toy Fair, and it was very informative to hear him talk about what he really wanted for, uh, he was the, the boys toys uh, area of the store buyer. They have them kind of, they have the buyers kind of uh, separated by the areas that they cover, of course. And uh, he was very clear about what he wanted. Um, basically the hottest entertainment license was what he wanted and precious little else, quite frankly. Uh, he didn't really care all that much about NASCAR. Uh, he d didn't ask at all about any open wheel. Um, open wheel, frankly, has really, really uh, poor marketing here in the U.S., whether it's IndyCar or whether it's um, Formula One. Now, you say you feel that, uh, uh, you know, things are going well for the Formula One race in Austin, and that very well may be, but outside of the people that go to the race, there's very little uh, attention that it's given. Certainly, um, well, anyway, it just, it's... It, Sadly, and I'm not against IndyCar. I'm not against Formula One. I do watch Formula One from time to time, although the races have uh, turned into entirely a procession the last few races, which is really unfortunate, um, meaning there's no passing whatsoever. IndyCar, uh, aside from one race, the Indy 500, uh, proved to me that the vast majority of people in the U.S. know anything under other than that one race. You can't prove it by me. Um, it just, it's, it really is unfortunate, but it frankly is the case. And like I've said before, um, you know, you may think that IndyCar would sell here in the U.S. The buyers that I've talked with, and like I said, I've talked with, uh, I've been there when, Sales folks have talked with the biggest buyers in the country, and they don't care. That'll that'll do it for this year on that for this year for this week. Kind of on that down note, but frankly, it's the case. Um, in any case, guys, I will be doing. I am going to try to do a live stream on Sunday. I got a very special car uh, sent to me. And I'm very excited to get it on the track. Um, it has a lot of, uh, even though it's a new car, it has sentimental value to me. It's, it's got memories, even though it's a car I haven't even taken out of the box yet. <laughs> In any case, guys. Um, thanks for the likes, the shares, the comments, and the birthday wishes. It was my birthday last week. And the two million views. Um... See you all again soon.